Happy Self Care Sunday. How's your Sunday morning and Sunday evening and Sunday afternoon going? I trust that you are having amazing, wonderful Self Care Sunday. Hey family, so how's your Sunday? You already awake, getting up, or you just about getting up? You r e having a nice creamy cup of coffee or bitter black coffee? I am more likely having a black coffee. I like black, black coffee. I'm a because I love being, I like just a bitter taste, but taste is very, very important, right? Important. So, oh, happy self care Sunday! How are you feeling this morning, fabulous Sunday? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. So, today is before Tessa is going to join, right? I want to today, I want to I wanna ask you about how you're feeling, or where you're from, or what you're drinking. Maybe somewhere in the world. Maybe it's already nighttime. You might be drinking a、oh, glass of wine or something else, right? Or somewhere in the world, like where I live, is maybe drinking coffee, tea, water. Who knows, right? Yeah, here you are, Colleen. This week, I am the, I'm the one to start. <laughs> You're at the right place at the right time. Happy Self Care Sunday, Colleen. How are you feeling? And what you're drinking right now, right? So just let me know, type in a comment. I wanted to know. I wanted to know. You know, some people they drink coffee. Not everybody's drinking coffee in the morning, right? Some people they drink coffee, or some people they drink tea、uh, or water. I started drinking、uh, what is called、uh, red cider vinegar. Coffee! Woo! What do you put in a coffee? What do you put in it? You like, just drink black? Or cream or milk, you know, it's everybody's. I find that everybody drinks a different way, actually. I prefer black. I, know, I prefer black. Occasionally, I add cream when I feel like it. I'm pretty sure Tessa is drinking creamy coffee right now. She's, so, so I'm just waiting for her to show up. <laughs> yes, so I'm gonna, before she s h o w up, And then I start drinking apple cider vinegar water in the morning. Have we ever had that one? It's, and then it's like, yuck. <laughs> it stink. It stink because I think it's like a fermented, right? It's a vinegar. It's, it's a stink and it's strong. I don't drink a straight apple cider vinegar water. I add maybe a cup of water and I add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Here you are done. Happy Self Care Sunday. How are you feeling this morning? And let me know what are you drinking right now? No judgment. No judgment. You can just drink whatever you want. <laughs> It doesn't matter, but I just, I'm just curious. So, I had a coffee and I already had a vinegar, apple cider vinegar. And then the key is a lot of people, when I mention it, here you are, Laura. Happy Self Care Sunday. Where is Tessa? <laughs> Hi, Isla. Happy Self Care Sunday. I hope not she is starting to somewhere else. <laughs> she did it last week. I'm waiting for Tessa to come, up, come over. Let me check. <laughs> she started last week. There you go. Let me see. Where is Tessa? She started last week, right? First. I mean, she started. She's not supposed to start last week. Where is it? Let me just find. If she is on the live. No, she's on the live. I'm sure she is getting ready. Internet issue this morning. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Do I have to do my own? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, where you guys live, you guys have internet i s s u e That's no good. So, maybe that's why she cannot send a message or anything. I'm just checking. Well, thank you so much for a comment. Thank you. Right? Let me know. Let me know.、Oh, you know what? I am going to keep my iPad open since she might be. Uh, uh, there you go. She might be sending a message. Right through phone, but I will send a message to Tessa first 
right? So just where you live, Ezra, like around Toronto, right? I don't know. Active yesterday. She, hmm, she's not on. She's not on uh, social media yet. So I'm just gonna send a message. Tessa, where are you? There you go. Hi, Tessa. There you go. Where are you? Without Tessa, <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Good morning, happy self-care Sunday. Thank you so much, thank you. I send a message to Tessa. Hopefully, she'll come on. She'll come on. Thank you so much for staying with me. Here you are and happy self-care Sunday. How are you feeling this afternoon? Hi. How are you feeling? Let me know how you feel, right? And then I am waiting for Tessa to come over. But Ezra said she had like internet issue this morning. So she might have a trouble internet issue who knows who knows right sometimes internet works great sometimes maybe not so i don't know so i am hanging on here <laughs> thank you so much don happy self-care sunday i'm doing like solo self-care sunday here you are mariela happy self-care sunday how are you feeling this sunday let me know type in a comment and also oh wow Oh, here she is. Thank you, Ezra. Us, me, right? I was alone. I, uh, and then, yes, I'm not sure, but has been dropping in the yeah, yeah, I've been here you since 829 looking for you, as usual. I start 827, uh, actually. 29 i've been looking for you so I, I i have no idea because everybody was here already <laughs> waiting no, for you to yes, show there's up. a lot there's a lot more to come yes, yes. Of, but uh Ezra, Ezra said maybe internet issue veggie table okay <laughs> so it might have internet issue too right okay Something. yeah but here you are here you are i had no internet issue it was fine i kept looking where is yuko you didn't show up oh i showed up eight to uh, eight twenty seven trust uh, me there you are. so i i even heard when you said you're going to be doing a solo cell sunday self show mm -hmm. and i was mm -hmm. i was waiting <laughs> you were waiting so you were sending your request you speaking. yeah i heard you speaking and i'm going you were not there oh, <laughs> yes, i was oh. i kept looking for her and I couldn't find her. I said, where is she this morning? That's why last week I started before you. It's Remember strange. that? Yeah. Yeah. So we strong internet. I don't know. I have no idea. But it's probably there's a glitch or something yeah, I think, I, on Instagram. You need, you need to get um, um, Bell 5. <laughs> My internet is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Both. So anyway, anyway, let's get it started. Let's Are get we? it started because everybody's time is important too. Yes, it was not Yuko. It was you. See, Ezra told me <laughs> that. that. Is Ezra. Thank you. Ezra doesn't, Ezra doesn't know what she's saying. <laughs> here you are, Yuri-san. I have friends from Vancouver and uh, it was okay. We are here now. That's so true. Let's get started. Time Hi, is Laura. money. Hi, time is money. Hi, All Dawn. Right. Hi, Colleen. Good morning. Good morning. So before we get started, what are you drinking? Today, mm. mint in my water oh, mint because oh. mint is a mint and a little bit of lemon because yes. mint is out and wild right now and the best thing to do is to put it in cold water and it's infuse it it's really good so grab your mm. mint or your coffee take a seat and let's get the show going beautiful beautiful it was i was assuming you were having a creamy coffee I, I, that was a really I had nice that, i had that already but remember yes. we're talking about vegetables or something oh, Okay, before I want to just start topic, you already uh, let the cat out or something. I don't know. <laughs> let the cat out. It's, it's up there. It's in your, it's in your, your thing. <laughs> I right know, up. but it's, it was on my things, but I kind of put a water filter. So it's kind of like just not really 100% revealing. Well, I just had coffee with lemon. Oh, okay. I normally coffee have with a lemon. collagen coffee with Yeah. I really usually have a collagen, but today it's... Yeah. Mm. yeah. 
And then Don said, I just finished my coffee. Back to water. Hmm. Water is amazing too. I had a nice drink of water too, right? So anyway, let's get it started. So we're going to talk about, as she mentioned, Tessa mentioned, we are going to talk about vegetable. Summer <laughs> is the best season to have nice green, like, you know, leafy vegetables too. I went to Tessa's house two years in a row. And then her garden is just like, oh my gosh, you even grow asparagus in your garden too. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Uh, it's a beautiful garden too. So uh, what, what, you know, like you, you have, you seem to have, or I know that, we, maybe we know that, all know that, you know how to use vegetable. I think you whole your body is made by vegetables. <laughs> you <laughs> eat a lot of vegetables. You have a great tips. Yeah, sometimes I, we I, just I, don't I know up. how to use vegetables. The thing about having vegetables in your mm -hmm. diet is so yes. important because when you have vegetables as a main part of your diet, you will notice a difference in everything from your stool, everything. everything. There is a big difference. Everything is eliminated properly. When oh. carbs is okay. carbs is nice and it tastes, mm -hmm. and we always know. Mm -hmm. What tastes good in the mouth is not always good for the body. When really? Is that true? Yeah, that's a fact. What, oh. Or they used to say, oh. what is it? nice in the, in the, on the lips is, is bad for the hips. Oh. <laughs> so you gain, they say you gain weight. But carbs, as yes. you get older, the less carbs you have, especially like pasta and rice mm -hmm. and potatoes, the, the thing that have heavy carbs, like bread, not so much potatoes, even rice you can manage. But the potato, okay. the, not the potatoes, the, the pasta and bread, 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 mm -hmm. bread, even brown bread, even green bread, because they have that amount of gluten and it creates inflammation in the body. Then we know that. Mm. So uh, yes, that's, that's why we wanted to talk yeah. about vegetables. vegetables. And then like summer vegetables, I, I find it so tasty too. Yes. It has a taste. Yes. And the thing is this is vegetable season that is yes. garden season garden so, season yeah unfortunately for us in canada we can grow it for those three to four months five months maybe into october right very short yes. season mm -hmm. and that is why we should use a lot of it um okay hi, Cheryl wallace welcome to the sunday self-care show um so the thing about mm -hmm. summer if yep. you did all the work in the winter to lose 10 pounds 15 pounds you are at the gym and you mm -hmm. did the work to bring your body down now summer mm -hmm. the thing is you did it forward so you could look well feel well in your clothes to your bathing suit your shorts whatever and we have taken you through all the preparation yes we the body did massages, yep. the brushing yep. of your feet the mm -hmm. ankles the elbow the creams and lotions and yes. potions yes. and water and all of that. I like when you say lotions and potions. <laughs> well, we do. I, for we some reason, I love it like potion. <laughs> my, my face cream, my face lotion, my face oh. oil is legendary, thanks yes. to Kylie. And so, so, this so, great <laughs> so now yes, we are this yeah. season. And, and yeah. the thing is, one of the things you talked about the garden, one of the things I do for sure mm -hmm. is that I, in the winter, I, I have a really hard time eating tomatoes and cucumbers in the winter because they're always wax and the, the tomatoes have no taste. I have to that's fight true. to eat them. Yeah, you yeah. Know? That's, that's true. And then Don said, yes, out of season fruit and vegetables don't have much flavor. And also she said, I love how Tessa Marie says vegetables. How do you, pro you pronounce is it like special? You, it, it is I vegetable. Know. It's not anything else. It is vegetables. Vegetables. <laughs> it's V-E, -E, right? G -E -E -T -E. T -E. Yeah, yeah, it's a vegetable. It's a veggie for your table. Yeah, yeah you know what? Thank you, Don. I never paid attention. And thank you, Tessa. Yes, I see like tables. Ah. Oh. Okay, veggie table. So the, oh, idea, cool. the, I, the idea is it should always be on your table. It should always be on your plate in some form or the other. Ah, and okay. Wow, so makes sense now. You guys are wondering how can these people talk for an hour Vegetable. about vegetables? Oh right? You know what? We can talk anything. We can just do an hour, two hours talking about even water right how many times we talk about water so vegetables of course 
And then, then there are some vegetables that we buy and then just like we, it sit in the uh, fridge for a long time or it goes waste, they go waste. The one of the things is uh, cabbage too. Hi, Carrots. Nancy. Good morning. Welcome. Hi, Nancy. Happy Self Care Sunday. So, but you've mentioned a couple great recipes. So, you're not, we're not wasting cabbage. Cabbage is a great replacement, also, carb. You, you told me that too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I use cabbage almost, I use cabbage every week. Every yeah. week? Every week. I have cabbage in one form or the other. Okay. I make, I, I, I make a, a a cabbage coleslaw that has no what you call it um, mayonnaise in it. No mayo. I, no uh, mayo. What, what do you use it though? So the coleslaw for my recipe. cabbage is that I get I I put my cabbage through the food processor or I use my Japanese thing yeah. and I grate it mm. right and then I I so I put onion and I I like garlic so I put onion garlic and then I put a green pepper or whatever pepper I have in the house oh. is available okay okay and green and then, or red uh, any any pepper yeah okay. it, it, green okay. looks nice in it but the red brings it up a red onion or mm -hmm. just a, a Spanish onion or white onion yes. whatever it's yes. just the flavor and some garlic okay girl so you also need to chop the garlic fine fine right so okay. Chop, chop the garlic, right? Not the yeah, grain. So chop. I chop it okay. so you can feel the crunch and you can get the oils because it's good for you, period. And then I take a little bit of ginger and I grate a little, like a quarter teaspoon of fresh ginger. Oh, just a little tiny bit. Grated yeah. ginger. Yeah. Yeah. And then I take my, my um, well, this, I use avocado oil and then we use, I use cider vinegar. And black, black apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, black, black pepper, pepper, and you know, just the seasonings that you want. I bring that all to a boil, a wrapping boil, raw, roaring boil, like make it boil. So in there you put black pepper, you can put any other spice you like, a powdered spice, and this and and you let it come to a boil. Really? And when yeah, you boil it and then you pour it over your cabbage mix mixture you toss it you use a spoon and mix it in cover it and let it sit until it's cool you said boil, nice you know, boil, it i'm sorry a, to interrupt you said boil you boil the you veggies. boil the side of vinegar and the oil oh, and oh. the spices like okay okay the pepper. season oh, okay you okay. put it in a saucepan on the stove and you boil it too it has to rumble you make a nice boil out of it oh so dressing you don't you always should add a little sugar with cider vinegar but you know i yeah. don't always okay but you, so I, boil boil the uh dressing yeah you boil, right? boil your dressing okay. so okay so can i use any sugar yeah is it okay some people they ask sugar, about brown sugar the yeah. sugar is up to you so okay. like it depends if you if you do not chop your cabbage or do it you can buy a bag of the cabbage thing already made up right in the supermarket yeah, yeah it's already and then, so you have a quarter cup of the a half a cup of the cider vinegar mm -hmm. um half a cup of the of the oil a quarter cup of sugar and your mm -hmm. black pepper i like i grind my black pepper fresh mm -hmm. and and then you can bring that to the a little salt if you want i you know the cabbage is salty okay Cabbage is salty? I never so thought about salt. cabbage is salty. Yeah. So then you boil that. Yes. And you pour it over the cabbage and the onion and the oh. pepper mixture. Yeah. And yeah, you yeah. mix it up. No, it is delicious. Especially if you have a if you like the little taste of the sweet and the sour. And then you oh. let it sit. It should sit overnight. Overnight. But to be honest, yeah. And then but to be honest with you, mm -hmm you will find you can just eat it right away that's what you will find with this thing you want to eat it especially if you're trying to maintain your weight you need protein yes and you need that's your true. vegetable that's a good way to start introducing it and it will last up to seven days in the fridge oh that's so convenient yes. that way when I feel like, you know, in the middle of the day, I feel hungry. I don't have to reach out potato chips. I don't have to reach a bread toast. I can just reach out the, the coleslaw. Yeah, you, because you remember it has no mayonnaise. So if you, I use it with chicken, I use it with salmon. As, so that's what I would have. And I would have a lot of it. Uh, so that I would is definitely I, use those I would ones. I start yeah. with cabbage because it is a versatile, very versatile vegetable that we have. Yes. And then Marie.
Gabriella said cabbage is med medical as well. Yes, That's it is. That's true too. You can, and another thing, yeah. you can just take the bag vein off and you can wrap your, your meat into it, steam it a little bit, okay. and you take the the main back vein of it, you bring it down, steam it, and then you add, you can add minced meat to it. And in the minced meat, you can put everything in there. You can, you can actually just put it in and roll it up like a wrap and have it. You know what? I never used minced meat. Actually, it's not a mean meat, right? It's not a meat. What is that? It is a meat. It, it is a meat? meat. I'm talking about beef. Oh, I did the one that you, okay. I thought you guys call it ground beef. Ground so beef. Ground beef. Yes, but it's minced, they minced actually mince it. They put it through a machine. <laughs> Got it. Okay. And, okay. So then you take that and you can make a mixture of that with your different. You can use veal or, or pork or beef, whatever you like. Mm. With a, and season it up. The most in, why people do not enjoy their food is that they're very light on garlic and onions, and yet they're so good for you. Mm. Garlic mm. and onion is so good for you. Yes, yeah. So don't be light with that. And if you have a little bit of turmeric, put that in there. All of that is anti-inflammatory, oh, you know. Yes. And another thing you can use is if you want, you can just grate some nutmeg over okay. it. Okay, nutmeg. Yep. Yeah. So it's just play with spices with your vegetables play with them bring it if the if it smells good mm -hmm. play with it i like i, I like so, the way you say that play yeah, with it that's play more with fun it so that you can enjoy it for example yeah. when you garnish if you're cooking for yourself you do not have to stay away from garnish for example you can go to the garden get some mint some celery some parsley and add it on the sides even if you don't eat them you hi Marina, good morning. Oh, hi, hi Power Page, good Thank morning. You, Maria. Hi Page, sweetie. Oh, hi Page. <laughs> yeah, hi Page, good is back. So you you can garnish your plate yes. of veg of of your, your vegetable with other things, what you know. It? And don't tell me, tell Maria, I live in an apartment. I cannot grow cherry tomatoes. Right. Yes, you can. You just I always hear that. I, oh, I don't have a space. I don't have Happy a space. Happy Sunday, space. But you can always make space. And it's the, the reason for we brought summer vegetables is that by November, October, we do not have them. And then we are trying to eat a cucumber that has been waxed yeah. so that it has yeah. life. Yeah. So if they wax the outside, it certainly seeps into the inside. The wax is made from petroleum, right? Oh, yes. so, so, so we are eating kind of petroleum too? But, but, but it's in gasoline. <laughs> And we wonder so we're why eating gasoline. Gasoline. Oh, you are. My son. <laughs> my son showed up. Sorry, Kisa. Oh, hello, Paige hello. and my son. Hi, Tyler. Good morning, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> so, so these are the things we have to remember. The vegetables that we use every day. Yeah. In we have to incorporate them in our meals and move away from the carbs, especially when you when you mm -hmm. get to be forty. You can eat anything you want. Up until yeah. a certain age, and then you realize your body is saying, but that's not good now. And but you keep eating that bread, then you feel constipated, then you get bloated. Yeah, that, that's so true. That's so true. M move away from the white person. Thank you. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler. I love the compliment. <laughs> Tyler. Oh my Thanks, God. Tyler. He's a ladies' man. He's a ladies' man. Since he was great born. job. My you keep the ladies happy. <laughs> so yeah. So one of the things we, we have to realize yeah. is using more vegetables yep. and getting away from the carbs in the summer and getting away from the white bread, the brown bread, they're all the same yeah. bread. And yes. the thing about somebody said, oh, I love all the grains. Well, get, I have news for you. GMO, the grains, they all have been GMO. Uh, we eat uh, so much garbage. You think, Marina? The, 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 the garbage we eat is amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The, all the all the grains, the nine grain, the forty five grain, and all these grains, they are not all grown just like that. No. When no. I was when not like you see how many I I I dear you guys put you, I like doing this to you. Mm -hmm. How many? All right. Of you are old enough to remember that when you went to cook flour, your mom or your dad, whatever, was going to get flour to cook. She had to put it through a sieve so all the little worms can get out of there, right? Ooh. That was what the flower had. The rice has it, all these little weasels. 
mm. because they were 40, 50 years ago, they were pure food. Yes. And the, the bugs came and ate it. No, you can have flour or rice in your house until doomsday, and not one bug goes to it. Not one. Mm. That's true. Not one. Like, yeah, one yeah. Any bug is going and sniffing that flower. They know they're going to die. <laughs> Yeah. So, then, so you make, you make us. us wonder, like, what's in there? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and palm oil, is, it's in everything. You, you think it's in every... My son said to me, Mom, if there is something on the back of this thing in the ingredients, and you know somebody in grade five cannot pronounce it, don't buy it. That's a great... And then he yeah, great said tradition. to me, if your grandmother cannot... Your grandmother wouldn't know what it is, do not buy that thing. That's so true. True. Because That's it's so true. made in a lab. Yeah. You know. And then Mar Marina said, food industry is trying to make us sick. Well, th that is their job. Yeah, you know, they have the job. That right? is why I always say they have a job and you have a job. Your right. job is to look after you. And their job is to push garbage down your throat so they can make money. And their brother, who is a doctor, can make money because now you're sick. One mm -hmm. brother works in the food industry oh. in the lab the other one works over there you know, <laughs> I don't know what's going yeah, on. I know. <laughs> see no. it's true like instagram even said it's true, true. It, it, somebody it, said if the bugs don't want to eat it it's never <laughs> it's true thank you so, it's like, so much 99 ways <laughs> well, thank you for I love sharing yeah. i love when somebody heard us the bugs when okay look at the vegetables in the garden yeah. my friend goes oh the bugs edit i said you know what if the bugs are eating it, that means it's good. Get yes. just rinse the bug out. Yeah. Look at where the bug at and eat it. Yeah. My cousin is complaining that the rabbits are eating all his vegetables. I said, yeah, because it's real food. That's why they you know it. They yeah, know they it. Know it. But where have yeah, you we, been? You know, yeah. like That's like true. metro raisin bread is still good after month. It's like <laughs> That's scary. I'm yeah, not buying those ones. Buy bread and it lasts nine months. You know, my parents own a bakery. This thing wouldn't last a day. Yeah. It gets small. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And the McDonald's price, yes. It's like I heard it's like two weeks, two, two months. Yes, it's McDonald's. stuck in the, in the edge of the seat of the can is still the same size, it didn't shrink. <laughs> <laughs> like like this person said, if yeah. the bugs don't eat it, that's a warning. It is a warning. It is a warning. Like you said, it's like it's our job to take Look care at of our body. Look at oats. Yeah. I'm sure like maybe not everybody eat oats every day, mm. but you, oats is always looking fine, you know. But mm -hmm. 25, 30 years ago, you, the oats would have little creatures crawling in them. Oh. They were so happy to be fed of it, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, but no creatures in the oats right now. No, no. <laughs> Nowadays, no flour, rice, none of them. Look at butter. butter. Butter yes. used to melt. Yeah. You put the butter on the counter, and if it's a hot day, it yeah. melts. The butter can slap you in your face. It's worse than face cream. It's so mm. thick, and it doesn't <laughs> melt. And it has, and it has soya. And why, why are they doing this to us? No, no. And I nobody know you mean, no. is complaining. Yeah. And we are yeah. just eating that butter that looks like it's, it's lard. Mm. It looks like mm. lard. Mm -hmm. But lard at least would melt. This thing doesn't melt. It just doesn't sits melt. there. The butter just sits there. Sits there. Makes Real butter so, is supposed yeah. to go back to its original oil state. Yes. And then the food industry Mind and is, the farmer Mind industry is not good in for the, you. There was a in the same stop, bed. Yeah, and oh. stop oh. eating yeah. butter. Eat margarine. Margarine is poison. It is. And then the like, a here's, lab. Yes. Here is a fire up question from Don. How about margarine? Margarine? <laughs> no question. Like is a poison. Good point, right? Made in a lab. You are better off to get pure olive oil, mm. some sea salt, some Himal Himalayan salt, mm. yep. put it in a bowl and dip whatever bread you want to eat with. It's better exactly. than putting margarine. No, right flies away. won't touch it. They don't, they don't want to touch it. They know it's die. not good for them. They'll die. Except us. We don't believe we'll die because of it. And we don't realize that's the cause. We show up at the doctor. Oh, I have this pain. I'm so... yeah. And the doctor said, well, yeah, go get some sana leaves. You need to go through the, take this drug over here. He never tells you to go do something natural. Yeah. 
Because when he writes that prescription, he gets paid for every yeah. prescription he writes. Yeah. yeah. So let yeah. let us go back to food. Yes. To vegetables. <laughs> yes. Sorry, vegetables. No. This 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 is like everybody everybody we know we know like these things is like something wrong with it right yes so i understand it's i i am very appreciate you guys put a comment for this oh, too right like, ready like yeah only boy you have to be careful not well, all if, if you know it's a good you, you look for a good brand of all you know them because you you're going to read about them you go back you have to, and when you get it you know when it comes to food we want to buy it on sale great yes but make sure what you're buying is good for you, you know. So we okay. cannot buy blindly. Oh, it's cheap. I'm going to grab one. Yeah. Oh, it's cheap. I'm going to grab one. Yeah. So and then we, you, you we better be smart. When you are young, you can eat 10 tons of garbage. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. As you're turning the corner of 40, it starts to re re tell you. Hey. Oh, very much. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's like it slaps you in the face. Oh, very much. I, I mean. <laughs> Oh, don't read the labels. I no, I, I, I read the labels. I, I, I don't buy much things that have name that comes packaged. I just yep. don't. Yeah. Oh. I always did that. My friend so, Tio. Hi Tio Chan. Hi Tio. There you go. <laughs> so one of the things, so go back, yep. let's go back to our we talk yep. about cabbage. And cabbage. Yeah, cabbage is a good vegetable, a strong, solid vegetable to have in your house. Yes. You can do a nice cabbage with carrots and cabbage you steam them together and then you add fresh green pepper sweet and onion and mm -hmm. you add salt and if you want salt and pepper you add a, a toss up of vegetable oil your avocado oil or yep. olive oil and mix it over it and that is also very good to eat yeah and if you it sounds simple bland, sounds very simple yes i like it fine mm -hmm. bland, use some cayenne pepper cayenne pepper is good for you anyway it's, and it's, you can get it's very it's, spicy though just you, i can just uh, add a little well, bit you can or you can if you have grow, you've grown it in your garden you, you dry it you oh, cut okay. a bush of pepper yeah. turn it upside down mm -hmm. with the leaves and the stalk and just dry it not in the sun dry it in the shade dry in the sh shade oh, you I never buy okay. any herbs or vegetables in the sun you have to dry them in the shade in the shade yeah just oh that the air dries them and you just crumple some of that pepper over it that chili pepper cayenne pepper and it it changes the taste and then mm. oh tesamarid burns then it will force you to drink water which you maybe haven't drank enough up today that's right and too. I, I see but i skip lettuce anymore cabbage is great i i use i grow lettuce all summer long yes I saw and, I, and, and <laughs> this year I didn't have to buy any oak leaf lettuce because they seed it themselves. I let them go to seed at yeah. the end of the yeah. summer yeah. and they pop up here and there and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I just pick them and put them back in the garden, mm -hmm. the, the new seedlings. Oh my so, God. That's, that's, so another I, I can't wait to go see it. <laughs> let us talk about cauliflower because cauliflower, cauliflower. Is, yeah. People are, uh, broccoli is common. Everybody has bro like broccoli. Broccoli has more flavor. Yes. If you are a rice person yes. and you love the, the, the texture of rice, mm -hmm. you can do cauliflower like rice. Mm -hmm. You're not fooling yourself, but you're getting the texture. And it's again in the food processor. And then you just toss it in a pan with mm -hmm. onion and garlic, onion and you'll hear onion and garlic and pepper, kind pepper, and it is delicious. Mm. The I, point I for you eating sometimes. Yes. yes, cauliflower rice too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you do cauliflower rice in my new part, roasted cauliflower. Yeah, roasted mm. cauliflower is great too. That sounds good. Yeah, it's oh. really nice. You slice it, the whole cauliflower, almost like you're slicing a piece of meat, like a like a steak. Yeah. From yeah, a, yeah. or ham, that yeah. thing, and you, yeah. you you put your oil over it and you you toast it in the oven no oh that olive oh oil is mm -hmm. not a, a oil that takes heat so you yes. have to when you're doing that use avocado or avocado. You can, if you want to use coconut oil but mm -hmm. the vegetable oils themselves are a problem like canola, canola oil and vegetable oil is a vegetable is a big name mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. many things are considered vegetable so therefore if you're going to take the vegetables and oil and use it, you have to know what is in it. So they say sunflower seed, 
avoid those they're not really that so it's either you go for avocado coconut okay. and olive okay. oil does not take heat so be aware of that and it, because I, it, yeah it burns really fast yeah so, so like you, you olive oils for and maybe put the end, right? At the it's end, when it's all cooked and ready, yep. you can add the oil to it. Got it. Um, and, and then you go from there. Yep. So that is when you do you do cauliflower. Now, mm -hmm. we, we did, what, the tomatoes. Tomatoes are, are at their best in the summer. Out, mm -hmm. Especially if you can go to a, a market where they're, they're grown. Yeah. Everywhere in the city, there is an open market. Yeah. It might be a little bit more costly, but you will notice the tomato has such flavor. You can yeah. actually feel the, the soil, the salt, the mineral salt in the mm -hmm. taste of tomato. Oh, that sounds like so good for the mineral yeah. too. Right? Yeah. Some, yeah. some people cannot have tomato because apparently some doctors said you shouldn't have tomato because it can, it, it's not good for it's, what something It's like an acid, the acid. The tomatoes. But it's not, the, it's not acid reflux type of stuff. It's just maybe, I don't know what for. But mm -hmm. I, I stand in the garden and I eat tomatoes. I stand in the garden and I eat everything. In right there. It's just like, so. Take it, start eating. <laughs> and clean it a little bit. <laughs> maybe. It, it doesn't have to clean because it's just there. You yeah. know what I mean? It's so, so wild, and, but it makes sense. And the marina said, I'm European and we use olive oil for everything. In the yeah. Mediterranean, olive oil used for, for everything. Yeah. Oh, my. Well, yeah, you, because that is the, the olives. That's where they make them. Mm -hmm. Another thing mm -hmm. I want to suggest is if you are, want to have salads in the summer and you want to have your meat, your chicken or yeah. your fish, whatever, one of the things you should always in, try to find out if you can get a pickled vegetable like olives there's pickled different types of olives toss that in there it adds a new flavor ah oh, interesting okay it, it is okay. right so you have the mm -hmm. fresh olive or you can get you know the the one in the jar put that mm -hmm. in there and listen so i was able to make i'm now back i love this I, uh, as i'm soon going to plant in my garden fresh is the best yes, yes it is thank you um so use a little bit. I use artichoke hearts in my salad often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things I do in the morning if I'm having eggs, because yeah. I love having eggs, one of the things that I do with eggs is that yep. I, I will chop up black olives or stuffed olives, whether either with pepper or, or garlic, artichoke hearts, mm -hmm. and I chop that. I whip my eggs. I add that to it. And I put it in the pan. It's like I bake that, and that, and then you add salt and pepper. I will not mm -hmm. always say that, but you need to add salt. Yes, yes. So that gives you a. It's all protein and some vegetables, right? So it gives you a good thing. All your solid, your pack. First yeah. thing that you should have in the morning, instead of a donut, is best you have a piece of cheese, honestly, because you really do need to have protein in your system in the morning. Yeah. Some people so, they in the habit have a donut or muffin. A muffin. Right? So yeah. You, first yeah. thing in the morning. So you can but, also hard boil while you're in the shower, put your boil your egg to boil. Mm -hmm. And and then you can cut it in four. You can use your you put some pickles with it yep. and your and your olives, of course, and the Artichoke hearts is delicious like that. Oh, and you just eat it. Avocados, yeah. you have it. Oh, that is a that solid breakfast. Yes, and yes. skip the carbs, yeah. skip the bread. It does not do anything for us. Yes. It gives so, inflammation. Inflammation. So those kind of uh, breakfast, how do you, you feel after you eat it? Though? After you eat your full, you'll be full longer. You'll go maybe three, four five hours before you're really empty that long time yes right? and but the best part of it starting your day with the uh, uh protein with, uh, with vegetables helps the elimination from your body the next day mm. so you can know when your diet is right is when you go to the bathroom in the morning for complete elimination that yes. when you are done you're not having a mess to wipe you will notice it's very clean Everything mm -hmm. has come out smoothly. Yes, that uh, some people they are having a difficulty. Yes, to, yes, yes. And foods that keeps your gooey, gooey. Your <laughs> what it has <laughs> in front of 
Yes, please, yes, I'll read it. Yes. For look, look at how it is. GL glycemic. Yeah. Glycemic? Index. Oh. Yeah. Glycemic. Okay, thank you. G-L-Y, glycemic. Glycemic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> thank um, you. So, so yes so you have to the thing about is watching what you eat is being aware is summer you made you did all this work you have all these plants to wear these amazing clothes mm-hmm. what about summer do yeah. it's not the matter of like is it is is it is it has flower is it it hurts spelt flower if you can do spelt and you get pure spelt mm-hmm. it's good but spelt is hard to digest because it's so it's it's heavy mm-hmm. If you eat bread, only eat sourdough. You can eat sourdough, but what else is in there? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. they have to keep that sourdough sour, or they have to keep it. So I, I have to stay away from from it mm-hmm. because it just doesn't do good. But spelt is nice, mm-hmm. and it's a, it you it's an acquired taste. Oh, okay. I sometimes buy like what in the bread in spelt. In yes, there, but I it's actually a- I just like. I don't really know what its spelt is, but I just like, oh, sounds healthy. <laughs> it's another, it's like, another great. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure I'm not the only one. But it's whatever it just sounds healthy, we just blindly believe it. Oh, it sounds healthy. We oh, yeah. those ones. Yeah, some of is good. Some of those is really good for your gut. Yes. But it's it it is, except in some places it can constipate people. It's the dough that they cannot digest. Oh, okay. 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 You know, so it's, it's not it's, for. I love sourdough, though. I I, I prefer I have too, sourdough, but I respect it because it doesn't work for me. Mm. You know. Mm. Well, so, you you eliminate a uh, uh, carb from your diet. I did a lot bread and that type of stuff. Yes. So you would, and it made a change, right, for your uh, uh, my shoulder inflammation. My shoulder. shoulder, and and then and I realized when mm-hmm. reading things that it affects me. Yeah. So you can you can also put these chia seeds and the um, hemp seeds and all of those in your almond milk and you can just blend it and and have it mm-hmm. in almond milk a little bit yeah. of honey a teaspoon of, of ginger and a little bit of um, turmeric mm-hmm. and that is also good so the chia and the hemp seeds uh, you know it it really works for you mm-hmm. put it in a in a blender and you have it. I like chia seeds. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it might be a healthy food, Marina. You're so right, but it's mm-hmm. not going to be good for everybody. Yes, that's so true. you have to yeah. pick and choose. But the thing is that our body warns us sometimes very, very early in life. It warns us, tells us, "No, you can't." You mm-hmm. know, and then, but sometimes it's we do not realize it. That even if we go and put in egg, avocado, and smoke salmon on my toast, yes. Oh, that is good. delicious. <laughs> it is that is delicious. Yes, you know, and you know, of course, you can if you have a barbecue, you can smoke your own salmon. It's not that really. Hard. Of I course, didn't know that. You can. It it will not come out like the the one that is sliced thin. It comes out more like what when I went to the mm-hmm. Gatsby Peninsula, okay, and we went through. I, I, we bought smoked salmon from the um, indigenous people. Yep, yep. It, it, it wasn't it wasn't the slicey thin ones you buy at the deli. It was in chunks. I never so it was never a, had chunk ones. It's a it's a oh. square, but you can do it yourself. All you do is get the salmon and prepare it to taste. Okay. And then you put some wood chips on your barbecue and okay. you keep it low and you smoke ah. it. We, Ezra and I was we would smoke it before Thanksgiving and have it. Oh, so I would, would definitely do that. This summer, I I had no idea. Yeah, you can, can make. Well, I can make. It's not time. going to be one you can slice thin. Yeah, it will be perfect for a salad. It's perfect, a smoked salad, a smoked I, salmon salad. Oh, oh, that, so, that's so look delicious. At, you know, no, best to shop at ethnic stores. The foods uh, have less processed. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm. One of the things that I have, true, Marina. That is so true. Good for the brain. One of the yep. things that I I drink in the morning, first yes. thing in the morning, is a, what is drink? Not, is not um. Besides, I have a a, a lemon cube, a, mm-hmm. a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and some olive oil. So that is like a, a liver cleanse that goes so first right down you, to you. You add olive oil. Just mm-hmm. how much? A little half a teaspoon, it depends on how big my lemon cube is, and some okay. cayenne pepper, and you have that. Then you can have water. Yep. But 
I found something that works really good for you and it helps to you get your body, your digestion ready for the day. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is yeah. that is cardamom seeds, cumin seeds, and fennel. And you boil your water and you draw it. I draw a big container like this and I have it on the fridge. And every morning I pour about four ounces, four to six ounces, heat it up, and I drink it. The fennel and the cardamom is good for your body, it's good for your gut. Mm -hmm. Because you know, mm -hmm. oh. sometimes you go to a restaurant, they have um, fennel there that you can, people just dip their hands and pop it in the mouth, right? So you can get, fennel is good so, for digestion. So I, I can add those three C's together and make and it boil it Make yeah, but you, but it it will help. It will if you feel that you're constipating a lot from what you eat. Mm -hmm. That is one way to regulate yourself. You have to be careful. One cup is enough. You don't want to get to have two or three cups of tea because then you're going to go to the bathroom. Every, it would empty. It you. works it would, great. It means it really Honestly, works great. if you have a Saturday or Sunday and yeah. you have no plans to go out, it that is a really good way to to bring elimination clean yourself out completely like no pain no cramp it will take days you know like a few days to get accustomed to it but if you have a you start monday drinking that like six ounces every morning and saturday you say i'm going to eat but i'm going to have this first then i'll have it again at 10 i'll have it at, mm -hmm. at three and you will notice a difference in your body really so when you had body cleanse right by that tea eventually your skin's going to yeah. grow and then and your body is like, yeah. yeah and your stomach your stomach is a lot flatter gets really flat we love to hear that we love to have flat flat yeah stomach. especially sometimes you you notice whatever is not working you do something about it i i am one person that believes that aging does not mean you have to be sick i you love know? that yeah you, aging you can, aging does not mean you have to be sick some people and that they think people that will way. not get something wrong with you mm -hmm. yeah coffee mm -hmm. is a cleanser it's clear it tells your system not yes. as good as those skis because <laughs> coffee again is, is whatever they do with it coffee <laughs> works for me too marina yeah to but so, right, that is that is actually cleaner than coffee yeah. i don't mean cleaner but it's it's better because the caffeine might keep you awake whereas if those other things it won't so you have to so cardamom seeds uh, uh, uh cumin so it's cumin. ccf it's ccf it's a ccf the cardamom cumin fennel oh i like the way oh okay yeah okay flannel okay but, and then uh laura you know, i have news for you for every cup of coffee you drink yeah. you need to have two cups of water that's right that's the famous one too Tess asks yeah. always so Laura said, hold on, I'm just gonna question. What are your thoughts on seafood like shrimp? That's well, from Laura. It, it's a taste, right? If you like it, I like seafood. I like all seafoods. I like mm -hmm. proteins, like that like fish and meat. I love that. And it works for me. Hi, Erica. The only thing that does not work for me is for me. And it did work for a hundred years. <laughs> now that I am so young, it doesn't work anymore. When I was a hundred years old, it worked. But now I'm 78. It doesn't work in my system. It's carbs, bread, and yeah, pasta, yeah. and rice. I can have a little bit of rice. But pasta and bread, they just don't... My, my system does not digest it. Yeah, so you, and you gotta change the way you eat. And hundred years ago, it worked. But as I got younger, it yes. stopped working. Thank you. <laughs> You're the only one I know that age backwards, backwards, going aging back, backwards. Backwards, I think. <laughs> Marina, one of the best books I ever laid my hand on when I was a young woman, before I started having my children, is by Adele Davis. And he said, Let's have healthy children. And hmm, this is what started, that is what started me on, on my health kick. Oh. I, so, so I read that book and I passed it yeah. on to most of my goddaughters or adopted young ladies. And it's amazing. It, the information in there. It, at that time, it worked for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like preparing your body to have healthy children. I did things during my pregnancy that yeah. it's old fashioned and people wouldn't, and they would frown at it today. Because when I was pregnant, I always had whole milk, which I could, well, then I was, I was a hundred years yes. old, so I could. I Back then it. you were. Yes. A whole milk was perfect for me. Yes. So exactly. I would have, I would wash the outside of an egg with just warm water. Mm -hmm. 
put it in a, a that much milk, drop the entire egg in there, and put one teaspoon of brandy with it, and I drank that every morning. Every morning? Every morning through my pregnancy. Wow. Those people, those people have no cavity. I grow, I, I liquefied the eggshell, the raw egg, and it, and all. I just drank it, and heaven knows where that idea came from. I think it's from my mom, but mm -hmm. that was one of the things I did. These people have beautiful teeth, my kids, and I, I swear. That's probably the reason. <laughs> That's probably it the reason. It may be one, but it was whole meal, a raw egg, yep. the entire egg shell, and all. And a teaspoon of brandy wow. every morning. Wow. To my really... Can you imagine that you go to the doctor and you say you have a teaspoon of brandy every morning? <laughs> <laughs> to get in trouble. They would I call, get in trouble. They call child services. Yeah, and very so fast. Yeah, child service. You, you know, and, that's very and unique. A lot of of that is common sense. Mm. If it doesn't work for you, then you have to let it go. That's right. You know, there is have, something works for you, right? Everybody's different. Yes. You gotta, you gotta try it on. You gotta do it. If it doesn't work, you're gonna move on to next. Yeah. Time try too. something else. When, they, like, mm. uh, listen to me. My parents have a bakery. I was brought up with bread cooked, ready to eat at 11 a.m. every morning. Mm. So you can imagine what happens when I smell bread and mm. I cook bread myself. Mm. You know. So can you smell? No. That bread is great for you if you have articulation issue <laughs> circulation issue that's what you mean but so i love my bread yeah. but then bread and i had a divorce and they, and we just don't get along a hundred years yeah. ago was a lot older i could eat bread but now i'm younger mm -mm. Mm -mm. no you divorce yeah we had a bad divorce <laughs> I like the way you say that. Yeah, it was calling <laughs> quick. It, it, it was. It wasn't good. It wasn't friendly. It wasn't. We didn't any, cost any money. To what did they say? We agreed yeah. to divorce. No, we fought through this. Yes, it was yes. not. <laughs> well, you gave a chance, though. You gave bread a chance a couple times, when, but just, when I was older, yeah, yeah bread worked. But yeah. now, now in my youth, <laughs> it is not working. Tessa is getting younger and younger and younger. I am. I, am. I am. I literally am. <laughs> okay, very, let's. Very what else we have on vegetables? I what about? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we move back to vegetables, but everything that we talk about our health. So it just everything just makes sense, right? And then everything is just like uh, ideas, ideas you share with us is very, very helpful too. So wait, let's move to back to vegetables, vegetables, right? So what else do you suggest? Okay. The summer Celery vegetables. and parsley. Do you know? Parsley too? You, yeah. Do you know if you have problems sleeping that parsley is good to make a tea out of it? Parsley tea? Yeah. Pars How? Parsley tea. Simple. You make every tea. You pour hot water over it. What? Okay. So the leaves or the stalk? Leaves. The leaves. The oh, leaves. leaves. Okay. You know, okay. you can take the stalk. I just take the whole thing, put it in a pan, and I just pour the hot water over it, and I have it. So I can make a tea. With parsley. Celery tea. Parsley yeah. tea. Oh, parsley, parsley tea. Parsley salad is yum. Ah. Oh. Parsley. Yes, it is. It is nice. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Parsley and salad. Uh, and it's gonna, good for you. No, um, celery yes. is another one that you can actually juice the celery and just have it like a shot. I should show you guys what I... I'm going to get something to show you. Vegetables from the summer, last summer. Okay. How I brought it. I, should, I have it down here. Oh, my God. Oh. I love the way Tessa... Uh, gives us an idea too i would definitely try so put in the comment what are you gonna what are you, are you going to try today tomorrow right tea you're gonna make tea you are going to have celery tea or what is called like cardamom cumin seed and not the flax seed i forgot i forgot <laughs> something but i would definitely make a tea purse purse persians purse makes a great parsley seeds oh salad I got a parsley oh. salad i gotta check it out i want to invade her library yes look at this <laughs> what is that that is celery parsley kale that i juice 
and I freeze it in a big freezer, in a big um, rubber freezer, in ice cube. Okay. And I can just you put took it, it high. Up? Well, can you yeah, put it up high a little bit? We can see. It's, it was square, but this morning I took it out just a few minutes ago, so I can ah. drink it. So it makes about that much juice, and it's just only vegetables from the garden. So you make a tea, and you freeze them in a cube. No, I squeeze it. Oh, I juice it. Squeeze it. I juice, juice it. it. And then you make and ice it. I make an ice ice cube, and then you drink it. Okay. So I, I put it to the, what, the juicer. Juicer, okay. Yeah, and because it's a lot of leaves, you can you add lemon because they had to juice, right? Just spinach and this thing. Yeah. And you can ah, also wrap good. a piece of apple with it, so it helps to, to thin it. Mm -hmm. And that I pour in ice cubes. So I have these big ice cubes, mm -hmm. and I pour it in there, freeze it, and then I take them out every day, and I drink one. Oh, that's so convenient yeah. it's easier to reach out yeah so but you, you do it with the vegetables in the garden your parsley your celery but all the leafy vegetables do not juice easily so you can that's true too yes so i wrap some of them with a piece of this has ginger mm -hmm. I, it has a piece of lemon i wrap it with a piece of apple green or red apple i i put some green ag around the celery stalk mm -hmm and it will juice oh, and then i oh. just so, so that's why you see the heavier is green and the middle that's where the the like the juice from the celery mm -hmm. the apple is resting and i just okay. freeze them in yep. those you know those silicone um ice cube trays ice cube yeah yeah, yeah. and the, i have the big ones for that purpose mm. and you just okay so big one is okay big one yeah because it's yeah. a square one and you just drink it it, it takes time Cooking food, eating right takes time. Yes, yes, you know, you yeah, can yeah. easily go to the store and you can get a smoothie in a package. You can get a smoothie frozen. You can get yes. it, right? Yeah, you can buy anything. anything. But so, so you can choose. Mm -hmm. And you can add honey to this if you want. Mm -hmm. You can add oh, garlic more drinkable. In there if you want. Yes. The thing is, I smooth it then for the fiber. Yeah, so... So that is what, these are the things that you have, we have to make sure we do. Mm -hmm. I, it's just, just these small things. It's not big. Like, I don't have green to grow in my garden. My neighbor does, and it comes through the fence. <laughs> Whatever in your property, you can do it, right? <laughs> so I cut it, I put, I rinse it, put it in, this, in the water yes. containers, and leave it on the fridge. And when I'm ready, I just it just makes people who have difficulty drinking water, it gives it a little favor. This also has yeah. like a half teaspoon of pure lemon juice in there that I squeeze. Wow, wow. Whatever you say, you do it. It sounds so easy. And you know, that makes it easy too, right? You know, so so yeah. this, so your carrots, if you, you buy summer carrots. Just just cut it in small pieces mm -hmm. and just while you're watching TV and you're dying for chips, eat a piece of carrot. Eat a few pieces. Get a think it doesn't taste like sweet. It doesn't taste salty. It doesn't crunch it's like the way a chip crunch. But I know it's good for my gut. Like convince yes. yourself. It yes. Is good for you. oh, oh, so you can fool your body too, right? Tell when your body, you, not body, yeah, a brain. How Holy many brain. of you that are here like waking up in the morning and feeling like you're like you're fine? That's the thing. You want to wake up in the morning, feel it, I feel good. And the way to do that is to eat or take care of having things. And yeah. preparing meals, you know what? Another thing you can do, if you're a person that do not like cooking or you do not like preparing meals, yes, there's just actually, like a lot of people. Yeah, there are actually, you can put, go to YouTube and choose music when cooking. And you will you find did. that. Yeah, oh, put it okay. on your earbuds, put yeah. the phone or whatever away, Sorry. and yeah. listen and listen to it while you're cooking. It Make makes it more you feel enjoyable. Yes. Ah, the thing. Okay. So it, it just puts your mind in. A, it's really nice music, and it says mm -hmm. music for cooking when cooking or whatever. Wow. So, there's stuff for everything. I you don't even know that music for cooking. There's music for everything. And yeah, so Mar Mar Maria said. I know. Mariela, I know you, you got a little bit of a Latino thing, so I'm sure she, she music listens and she dances and she cooks. 
Secret. Yeah, it, it is very important to do that. Music when you're cooking ah. is so good. Um, and the thing about food, when we talk about the vegetables, is yep. they're all out there, and they're better in the summer. Like the two, like the um, strawberries. You might not like strawberry, but do you like cherries? Then have it, even if you only have it once. But your your stomach, your body saying, "Yum, good stuff." Your body always can tell you. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. And and remember, if the bugs are not eating it, you shouldn't eat it either. That's a really great indication. Yeah. Right. Yes. If the bugs yeah. are not, eat, if when you have something in your home and it's just not getting mildew or moldy, then you know something That's is wrong. <laughs> it's yeah. not good. I remember my grandma used to tell me that, like she she used to grow her veggies, and I see bugs like worms just crawling. Yeah. And just like grandma, it's yucky. Uh -huh. She said, "No, no, means it's a good one. Yeah, it's good for you. Yeah, not, not if, like bugs. Is bugs good for you, the if bugs, if the bugs are eating it, then you know you should eat yeah, it too. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so my, I remember that my grandma told me that used to tell me. Look that. at spinach. Mm -hmm. A lot of the vegetables should be eaten raw, really? like spinach. And and if you want to eat lemon will soften things some lemon juice real lemon will soften things okay, okay. and and so how do i use lemon to spinach to lemon how do i do that you make a salad and you add some lemon salt and pepper boom hmm. so flavor make it make it like softer to easier yeah, to chew it, it yeah it, it takes away some of the harshness of the vegetables it's and you, ah. it makes it softer yeah, and, an, yeah. and another thing, okay, how to take care of your green, of your vegetables when you buy them. Please. Okay. Let I me came know. Here. What is that? You know, oh, when the paper you towel? buy your spinach, you yeah. have to wash it. You yeah. buy your lettuce. Yes. What, if, what you do, you'll take some paper towel mm -hmm. and you line the container or the, or the bag you're going to store it in. And what okay. happens is that the paper towel absorbs the moisture from the vegetable and they do not go greeny, soggy, melting. Oh, okay. So just paper towel. Yeah. yeah. Using you take the paper towel and you, and you put it inside of the container yeah. and you can put it over it. And ah. if it's a bag, you put it and then you put your vegetables there and you can just toss the paper towels, yeah. one or two sheets of paper towels in there. What it does, it grabs all the moisture, and the, when you go four days, five days later, the vegetables are great. Oh, wow. I would definitely do that because it gets soggy so yeah. quick. Yeah, so that, that is one of the things. Oh, um, if you oh, have money spend, buy it, so it's expensive, but it's your kitchen appliance all in one. I've heard about that. Oh. So, okay, what Marina, when I turn 16, because I'm on my way down, can you buy me one? <laughs> <laughs> what sweet 16 <laughs> birthday <laughs> remember i'm on my way down from 78 i'm eating 16 one of these days so we have to yeah. start saving what well, we gotta create a saving account right marina <laughs> just for that, saving <laughs> just for that. two thousand yeah, so, dollars so when oh, you wow. buy if you know for example people buy vegetables and yeah. they do not eat it and you keep buying oh you should <laughs> And you Why do not that? eat keep it. it in the, yeah, and you keep, keep in the buying shelf. it. And you do not eat it. Why you that? have to ask yourself, what is wrong with me? Say, say like when you go Costco or grocery store, be um, like, you know, those uh, red peppers and those ones. Like, oh, wow, it's cheap. Five ninety nine this month. I will buy six uh, the the peppers. And then like, what? Three of them? They go rotten. Yeah, but you know, but you, if you know, you did it before. I know you yeah, did it before. But we keep doing the same mistake. Yes. Why that, that tells me that? you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when you, what did they say? Really? Doing the same thing and expecting a different result. They call it insanity. Okay. You're crazy. You know you're not going to eat it, but you want to look healthy. You don't want to be healthy. Yeah. You want your cart of groceries to be a healthy cart of groceries. Oh, okay. So you buy these okay. vegetables and they're in the cart and you're... Mm, you know, it makes us like... Yeah, and, yeah. And people take a picture, say, that's a healthy of, person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you get home and you never use it. Yeah. And it's, you have to throw it away. So next week you go back again. But <laughs> it, it looks great on Instagram. You know, this <laughs> yeah, is what I buy. Just, it looks great in the grocery cart. It looks greater when they charge you for it and you're back again. That's what annoys me. Oh, How do you do this? Oh my gosh. So that's why we, we you know, got to use it up cabbage. And you showed us a recipe on the beginning.
too, mm -hmm. right? And that really helps. We can just use it up, good amount the of red, uh, cabbage. The, the minute you start cooking and you make up your mind, you're going to fool around, have fun with the food, play with the food. You're going to enjoy doing it. I love the idea. Play with you know, and, and, and another thing, we talk about smile this week on a live in the morning. Laugh at your creativity in the kitchen. Yes. Or your lack good, of it. Yeah. Or your lack I love of that. It. If I don't want to do something, I'll say there's somebody out there that really loves doing this that I don't mm -hmm. want to do. I'm going to mm -hmm. have to find them. Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. Happy How Sunday you? self-care. You know, have fun with your food, your veg summer vegetables. Enjoy it. And laugh at yourself. So you did something and you, you thought it was going to come out better than that. Just say, mm -hmm. oh, well. <laughs> That's how it went. Sorry. It's, so, not, it's not too good. <laughs> so, like, you know, friends, we know Tessa divorced with, uh, had a divorce with carbs. Yeah, I think she, had, she had a new yeah, boyfriend. Also. Not new boyfriend. She still have keep long re love, loving relationship with veggies. With veggies, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, Cubs and I, it was a nasty divorce. We just don't yes, like it. It was a nasty, it was yes. so painful. Make sure, you, that, yeah. make sure you have fun in the kitchen. Find a way, put music on. Yeah. And then you can always follow Yuko's recipe. Oh, a main you. ingredient in the kitchen, a glass of red wine while she's cooking. <laughs> and you I will tell you, Tessa Marie, it's five o'clock in France, right? <laughs> yes, I learned from Tessa Marie. <laughs> it's, it's noon in, in Canada. Oh, oh no, it's 5 p.m. in France. Yeah, but it, it, I spend, okay, I spend entire afternoon cooking, okay? Yeah, and I then too. You too, right? Yeah. What, what, how do I make it fun? Yeah, you have, Music? Music or listening something? A yes, <laughs> little bit of a red grass of, uh, I don't know, wine. And then I can just like nibble around. I, I said I needed red wine because I was making spaghetti sauce and I wanted to put red wine in it. Of and, course. And I went, okay, red wine for the spaghetti sauce. And this is red me. wine, my glass. Yeah. <laughs> my glass. I know. That's I love so my husband always buy a big one too for me too. Then so. <laughs> you need a different wine. No, we use high class wine, Terry, in our cooking. We use the, the same wine we drink, we cook it. Don't worry, Terry. You don't... <laughs> oh, no. my God. Okay, so I'm so a, um, Florida. Five o'clock somewhere. You know, That's true, Marina. <laughs> what did Marina say? Five o'clock somewhere. It five is five o'clock somewhere. It's time. It's time. <laughs> Especially if you, do, if you don't know what to cook for dinner, before you decide to cook, you open the freezer and you look at what you have the, in the morning. And you say, what can I cook? And while I'm cooking it, I can have some wine. <laughs> <laughs> what it is? I love that. Which one of you would like to have wine with me today? <laughs> if you talk to uh, the and then chicken just like me, me, yeah. right? <laughs> or tomato sauce like me. Yeah, the chicken or the ham or something is popping. Yes, yeah. you always have a great answer. If you ask a great question, you yeah, always you always get, get a great it. answer. Yeah, so if the chicken falls on your toe or it's just frozen, that means it wants to be cooked. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it has to be. But you, you, have to, you have to make laughter part of cooking. I love that. You I love that. Have to. Yeah. I always yeah. start cooking at 4 p.m., but it's always 5 o'clock somewhere. It is, <laughs> it is, it is five. I don't know That's if it's in Timbuktu. I don't know if it, well, it must be 5 o'clock in India. At yeah. least we know they're 10 and a half hours ahead of us. So, yes, even if they, at this moment, 10 36 a.m., yeah. but somewhere in the world is 5 p.m. It's 5 p.m. <laughs> so, we're pretending we're there. That's so, that's right you gotta have fun you know talking about fun and then while we're having such a fun and time flies right it's already yeah. oh my more God. than an hour more than an hour and this this and this i will have later you see on about 20 minutes so i will have my green juice yeah. and water it's and whatever go down there too. but yeah. i would definitely do that make a use uh you know make a tea i love the idea make a tea and then leave all those leaf parsley, yeah, but it's, it's when juice. you're making when you're putting them in the processor, use apple, celery, That's lemon, something tip. to help them go through the processor and release some of the juices. Yeah, that's a great tip. That you way know, we and, can drink every yeah, day. And have it, have, have a shot, freeze it and have a shot. You can put it, take it from the freezer, put it in a glass in the fridge, mm -hmm. and then yes, and ha and drink it. Yes, her hair does look super cute. Okay. She looks Thank beautiful. You, Marina. Yeah. She always makes a compliment. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, everybody, let me say yes. this to every bus. Yeah. Nancy and Marina and Terry and Dawn and Colleen and 99 ways to Michael Wright. Thank yeah. you for joining and yeah. thanks for your comments. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thanks for your comments, everybody. Yeah. It is the Sunday Self Your Show. So we'll see you in two it's, weeks, right? It's a week. In two weeks. In two That's going to be June. Is it? I have. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah, you see, yeah, we're halfway. So. so you're ready for summer. Oh, we don't know what we'll be talking about. We never tell you until the morning, huh? Yeah. But we still have to get you ready to face the rest of the warm season. Yes, and that's true. we'll come up with something. Yeah, it's a long weekend. A and long yet I have to. Weekend. So tomorrow yeah. morning at 8, I will be on the morning blessing. Oh, you, you will? Yeah. Do I that, asked, like. and then everybody said, please do the morning blessing. So here I am. So I'll do okay. it tomorrow. Thank you so much, Cesar. We're looking forward to see you tomorrow morning. You 8 a.m. Eastern. E S T. And join us. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you, Cesar. Au revoir. Merci. Arigato. All right. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, Marina. Thank you. Bye, everyone. All right. Bye. Bye.